Okay, so in this team talk, I'm going to show you how to correctly use the stopper ball feature on the click bar. In order to move the stopper ball, you need to separate the two sections of it, not push them together. So what you want to do is take the blue section on the bottom and the orange section on the top, pull them apart, and this will allow you to move the stopper ball up and down your coated center line to your desired position. Now, Everybody's got different length arms, some people are different sizes, some people are bigger than others. So it's a really useful feature to be able to move this stopper ball to exactly where you want it to be. Also, if you're doing some old school tricks and things like that, where you're taking both hands off the bar, it's nice to be able to move it whilst you're riding to a lower position. So when you do a jump, you can take both hands off the bar without worrying about it fully sheeting out. You can leave this stopper ball as standard as it comes out of the bag. However, if you want to fix this stopper ball into a position, you can also do that by simply using your FCS or provided duotone Allen key to cinch the allen key into position in your desired location this is great for smaller riders so it ensures that the bar does not move further away from you than you can reach so the stopper ball really helps to add to the variety of adjustments that the click bar delivers <music>